so ET or exoplanet, planet beyond the solar system, also the environment life can live. So we call it Earth 2.0, second Earth, like Pandora in the movie, right? So that's why we are building a lot of telescopes to find uh, this extraterrestrial life or signature of the life in the distant exoplanets. But doctor, why do you share data from such a high performance equipment with the whole world for free? Oh. Like why why not you shot it mm -hmm. or put restriction on it? Mm -hmm. Why just make it open? Like yeah. is it sensitive information? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> That's also I got a lot of questions like that. Why can can monopolize or got money from the, yeah. the, the data because we invested a lot? But I think that astronomers believe that there's no border on the universe and no one owns the universe, so it's for everyone. So, right, if you see the dark skies, that's for everyone, not just any billionaire <laughs> or millionaires, right? And though, on a practical sense, actually, we believe that the more the people, more astronomers or other publics are working on the data, the more discoveries can be made and very faster. So, we release data to expect that a lot of discoveries made quickly against advanced knowledge of the humankind, mankind. Mm. I do understand like uh, the telescope helps us to know more about space and everything beyond, mm -hmm. but I'm just curious like, does this have anything to do with actual us mm -hmm. on Earth? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, can it help with or have a connection with uh, environmental problems mm -hmm. or with mm -hmm. our humanity mm -hmm. in a way? Yeah, yeah. That's the, one of the questions astronomers address because uh, this is maintained, astronomy is supported by taxpayers' money. Yeah. That's why the IAU, International Astronomical Union, write actually a booklet about the, oh. how the astronomy is more actually benefit mankind in te technology. Oh. That includes Wi-Fi, for example, MRI or CCDs or other that kind of technologies. But that's a more practical sense. But I like to emphasize that this all astronomy, all the this question is about the mankind's fundamental question. Basically, where I came from, where I'm going. So far, as we discussed, humanity started to gaze at the dark skies from the beginning. But now, in the modern world, we are living in the era that actually we can ask some profound questions and we can answer that question using technology and science. So from now on, I will take you to the journey about the SPX telescope and tell you more about the space telescope and the secrets of the universe.